Hi, students. How are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So there is this video that I came across, and I thought I should bring it here because, I mean, the young man really came with all the facts and all that. And first of all, he started by saying, I think non-rich, deceased, non-black people have no idea how much black people, how much people do not like black people. I don't want to use H word, right? So that's why I use the dislike, right? And he went for that to make his uh, uh, make his uh, case. And uh, you know, there is a video actually that is coming out and it talks about how they really do not want black people, people that look like me around and how they do not want to do anything with it. But still, they do not want it to go. They don't want you around. They don't want to do anything with you, but they don't want it to leave. Because if they do, they would have paid the reparations that they were supposed to leave. And so for that reason, that reparation has been hanging for as heaven knows why. Where, how long it's been hanging to this very moment. Now, there is a point that she, the, young, the young lady who actually backed the stitch up said that she had points where red to the season without racist, the strange career of Jim Kuro, the new Jim Kuro, 13 documentary, stamp from the beginning book and documentary. Now, this is to tell you that uh, you see this systemic racism. It's real. Let's get into this video. I've come to the realization that non-racist, non-black people have absolutely no idea how much people actually hate black people. And I realized this when I was looking at all the discourse about the Yasuke being the, one of the main characters for Assassin's Creed. And they were generally confused of like, yo, what is all this outrage for? Let me tell you something. Listen, come close. They cannot stand the sight of a black person. I make these Uncle Ruckus videos. It's a ha-ha joke. We all know that. There are people who believe it's true. There are people behind my back calling me a goddamn tar donkey, knuckle dragon, African baboon. That's what's happening. They cannot stand the sight of us. They hate the way we talk, the way we walk. They hate the way we dress. They hate the way we talk. They hate everything. And I feel like we downplay what was really going on in during Jim Crow and post Jim Crow. These people could not stand to be around black people. You know why we have private pools? It's because when integration happened, these white people were like, yo, I would rather die than to swim with a black person. That pool water will be so goddamn dirty. So we're gonna close all these pools down. We're gonna close all these parks down. We are only having private property. These are your grandparents and it gets taught. These people cannot stand this. And I just, I just feel like we really downplayed it in, in today's world. Y'all, I was just scrolling and I saw a video from this young man and I wish I had saved it because I don't even think he knows how right he is. I got it, come look at this here. I've come to the realization that non-racist, non-black people have absolutely no idea how much people actually hate black people. And I feel like we downplay what was really going on in, during Jim Crow and post Jim Crow these people could not stand to be around black people. You're absolutely right. People have no idea. Support from non-racist people seems like real iffy sometimes because they haven't even accepted how bad racism is. Here are a few examples. If you black, take a deep breath, okay? I've made a list. The men who killed Emmett Till did an interview in Look Magazine bragging about what they did. To this day, the Emmett Till Memorial plaque has to be made out of bulletproof material because of the amount of people who would travel from all over to do target practice on it. The Little Rock dying. The black kids that integrated Central High School in Arkansas. J mm. They moved closer and closer. Somebody started yelling. I tried to see a friendly face somewhere in the crowd. Someone who maybe could help. I looked into the face of an old woman and it seemed a kind face. But when I looked at her again, she spit on me. Uh, in 1892, three black men were kidnapped from a jail and lynched by a white mob. What was their crime? Opening a grocery store across the street from a white grocery store. Ah, then there was that time in 2022 when the president of the LA City Council had to resign after she called her co-worker's black son a little monkey. In 2019, somebody set fire to three black churches in Louisiana in a span of 10 days. If you follow the Equal Justice Initiative on social media or sign up for the email list, every single day of the year, they remember a moment of racism 
racial injustice or racial violence in this country every single day of the year. It's a calendar. Georgia had to vote to take slavery out of our constitution. Tuesday. That was Tuesday, like three days ago. But yeah, I think the reason why racists win so often and why it's so hard to get people who are not racist to stand with us is because they have not accepted just how bad racism is. Yeah, you're not crazy. Oh my God, the year that Barack Obama was elected president, people were decorating scarecrows with his face on it and hanging them in trees for Halloween decorations. My main concern is that we don't have the authority to stop them at the river. Because once those illegals get in here, we, I think I saw all, our Washington Examiner estimated back in October that over 10 million illegal aliens have entered the country. If just one in 10 of those so 10 million have a child that is born in the United States, that child will be a U.S. citizen. That citizen will be able to vote in 18 to 20, 20 years. We will not win elections past 2040 if we allow this to happen. Good morning. So yet again, the GOP is out here telling you what they're trying to do with legislation currently because they're playing the long game for future elections. This is how Project 2025 is becoming a real thing because they've been planning and planning and planning and they will take as many L's as possible, but they're gonna be consistent to make sure that they continue to disenfranchise people who are marginalized in this country. That includes black people, people of color, um, immigrants. Um, that includes the LGBTQ, that includes the disabled. They're not hiding it. They're really not. And so when people are getting out here talking about, I'm going to just sit out of this election. I can't morally vote for Joe Biden. But you have an entire party talking about disenfranchising people who are not white, who are not Christian, who are not straight, who are not male. They're gathering, they're recording themselves talking about this and they're showing you. Yet people are upset on these platforms, getting mad at people like myself, talking about what it is that they're trying to do, giving you the information, saying that we are fear mongering. No, we're not. And it says a whole lot that you're mad at the people who are sounding the alarm versus the people who are responsible for the alarm ringing in the first place. Y'all keep playing with this election. Like, we don't have other issues. Also, I wanna say, these are not the Democrats being the same as the Republicans. They're not having meetings about disenfranchising. So this is all I got from these teachers and that's sincerely speaking. <laughs> People really do not understand it when black people are saying it. But the reality is that a non rate of the seas, non black people have no idea how much people do not like black people, and that is absolutely true. The fact that I, but I just want to ask why is it that I, black people are not accepted anywhere? I mean, like, it is very rare to see a country that is open for, like, you know, black people or where black people can go without being discriminated, without being judged, without being stereotyped and all that. It is really, it's really crazy, you know? Having to experience this day in, day out, the truth is that I remember there is a video that uh, Tim Godfrey talked about where he said that uh, they really do not want black people. They do not, I don't want to use hate that I am going to do not like black people, but still they would not want to let black people go because they know the vital, the important. That's why they are working day in, day out to make sure that they minimize or they do not see how important you black people are. They do not want you around, but they are not going to let you go because they're all black people. If they really do not want black people around, like they always say and all that, why not pay them their reparations so everybody can go and do what they want to do 
those that want to move can move and the rest of it but no they will not do that they will rather sit on it and then continue looking for a way to oppress or use the system that uh, that they have set up already to uh to oppress people that look like me and you think they don't know what they are doing they do not like anything about like this young man said they do not like the way you talk the way you and that is on period the way you also find strength the way you work hard and all of that is why all of a sudden i started hearing something like black people are lazy people black people do not work hard then why saying that i also learned that uh, they are not intellectually smart to handle bigger positions that they are only good when it comes to labor anything that got to do with strength it was at that point that i knew that uh, they knew what they are doing they knew what they were doing and this is where i am going to try to cut in thank you so much i'll see you all in my next video bye for now